Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tips. Laravel 9 is finally released and in today's video we'll be looking at what are the new things that have been added to version 9. And also if you look here in the support policy and you are still using Laravel version 7 then you need to upgrade your version otherwise you'll not get any updates or security fixes. And since Laravel version 6 is the LTS release you'll still get some security fixes. So you don't need to worry about anything if you are using version 6 but it's always a good practice to upgrade your Laravel version because it will be very easy for you to upgrade gradually instead of directly upgrading from let's say 6 to 9. And now let's see what are the changes or new things that are added to Laravel version 9. Okay, let me just scroll through the changes. You need to have the PSP version 8 or greater in order to use the Laravel 9. Similarly, Symfony Mailer support was contributed and before there was Swift Mailer which Laravel was using in order to send the mail but since it was deprecated so it is making use of Symfony Mailer. If you just see here in the upgrade guide, then you will see here if you were using this mail gone or postmark, then you need to remove your previous composer dependencies and just required these. And similarly, if you are using this with Swift matches, then you need to replace this with the Symfony message. Similarly, there are some other methods and in every one of these methods, you need to replace this Swift with Symfony. Now the Laravel uses version 3 of the file system. And if you just show you here a little bit of upgrade guide here then if you are using AWS or SMTP file system then you need to just change your dependency to this otherwise it will not work and similarly before this put write and write stream methods on these file system they did not use to override the existing files but now these will override the existing file so if you are using these then you need to refactor your code the next thing that has been added is this improved eloquent accessor or mutator before whenever we are accessing these mutators or accessors then we had to write these two methods get name attribute set attribute but now you can easily do it using a single method like this and it was already added in Laravel version 8 point something if I show you here this 8.77.0 but they have mentioned that in the documentation and if you want to know more detail about that then you can watch this video tutorial I'll be leaving the link of this video tutorial just below that like button and similarly enorm eloquent casting has also been added you can easily cast your database columns to enum so let me show you that also so here I have created an enum called user type enum enums and here in the database. So here in the users I have this ad type here admin normal super admin and let me show you here user type here normal admin and super admin and if I go here in the user model. Then I can easily cast that type with the user type enum. And let me just find the first user and whenever you do this we will get this user with the id of one and the type is admin we'll just see admin over here like this whenever we are getting the user model but whenever we access user like this then we'll get the user type enum and now we can easily compare it or do anything that we want with the enum instead of using the hard coded values and the next thing let's see the thing that has been added is this implicit route binding with enums so let me quickly show you that over here i have this web.php routes file let me just show you here at the bottom so here i have this user type as a route and here this is the user type enum that i have created before and this type this variable name and this type should match okay for the implicit binding and here i have just written this value of this type and now if i just go here and let's say user slash admin like this then it will return whatever the value of that enum is but we don't have this admin one in the enum and whenever we visit this route then it will throw 404 not found because this type is implicitly bounded with this user type enum this is a very handy feature now let us look at the next thing that has been added is this forced scoping of route binding before if we had to do forced scoping of the route binding then we had to do it like this we had to write here the id or the slog whatever we want to force scope we had to write it over here let me show you what i meant over here so here i have this route user and the role and let's say id over we want to force scope this id okay and we are just returning role over here 
and here in the database over here the user with the id of 11 has the role 3 and in the user model we have this roles relationship and whenever we go here in the routes so here user 11 and role 3 like this it will find the user with the id of 11 and it will get the roles of that user and checks whether role with the id of this 3 is present in this roles of that user and if it is not present then it will throw 404 otherwise it will just return the role and as you have seen over here this user 11 has only role 3 and it doesn't have role 1 or 2 and if you try to write here 1 then it will give 404 and this is called this force scoping of the route bindings but if i just forget to write this then it will just give me the role with this id of the one but we don't want this kind of behavior we only want to get the role of this particular user only so in that case there is this new thing that has been added this scope binding we can easily add it over here just chain this method like this and then if we come here and just reload then it will show 404 and for the role 3 it will just give us the role and if it is cumbersome to write it over here then there is this scope binding group also we can just write it here like this and write all the routes where we want this force scope binding then we can just do it like this and the next thing that has been added is this controller route group and this has also been added to version 8 and i have already made a video about this controller group and i'll be leaving the link of this video just below that like button you can easily watch this basically we can also group routes by using the controller method okay similarly full text index and where clauses have also been added and this was also added to laravel version 8.79.0 and i have already made a video about this you can easily watch this over here i'll be leaving the link of every one of these videos just below that like button basically what i have known is in the where like condition if you write percentage on both sides then the index will not be used but in case of this full text i think the index will be used and just let me know in the comments below if you know anything about this full text similarly another thing that has been added is this laravel scout database engine and it is contributed by taylor otwell and trees vince it is another database engine and you can use it instead of using Algolia or Millisearch if your application is very small for showing the search results. There is this rendering inline blade templates that has been added also and we can just use this blade colon colon render method in order to render this blade syntax into a plain string. It will just replace this name with this this name and you can not only convert this blade syntax into the plain string but also component to the plain string suppose let's say you want to return the rendered html version of a blade or a component in multiple places then you can just use this blade facade and return it like this this is a very handy feature and again in the components we have this slot named shortcut before whenever we were writing the slot or the named slot then we had to write it like this now we can easily write it like this just skip this name and write it after this colon and also two very handy directives that have been added are this checked and selected let me show you those also i am here in the dashboard blade.php before let's say we wanted to make this radio button checked i have these two radio buttons i want to make it checked then i had to write it like this suppose let's say i am here in the dashboard route then i want to check this radio button dashboard page then i had to do it like this and here in this website i'll just go to the dashboard and you can see here dashboard page is checked before we had to do it like this but now we don't need to do like this we can just do here like this at the rate checked and if we pass true over here it will just print this checked over here otherwise it will not print the checked. just before doing this let me show you over here so here let me just zoom it for you guys and here in the input we can see this checked and instead of this thing i'll just copy this and paste it over here and i'll remove this and both of these will now work the same way and this look much more cleaner than our previous implementation now if i come here and refresh then you can see here the checked over here and not only the checked we also have this 
selected one so you can easily use this checked or selected whenever you want and it will make your code a little bit prettier also this bootstrap 5 pagination has been added and it is contributed by this jared lewis and i'm so sorry if i'm mispronouncing your name and we can easily add this in the boot method of the app service provider and the paginator will use the bootstrap 5 and the next thing is that there is slight improvement in the nested array data so previously we couldn't get the value of this id whenever we are using this syntax let me just show you over here like this so before we could just do it like this not this the bottom one the above one we could do it like this okay and here we could not access the value of this id but now we have this rules for each and here we can pass the closure and we can get the value of whatever the thing that is here at the end and we can use other permissions that requires the value to be present so this is a very handy validator feature and the next thing that has been added is this laravel bridge api and next js if you are into react js and next js now you have the next js preset for the laravel bridge and you can easily integrate that in the laravel application by just going through this documentation and it is very easy to set up and the next thing is this improvement on the ignition page the error page that we see whenever something wrong happens in our laravel application and this has been drastically changed let me show you that let me just undo this like this and let me just remove one curly bracket from here and let me go here in the browser and just reload and let me just show it by zooming out and it will look like this it is very much different than that of our previous error pages and we'll just see whatever the wrong that has happened in our application here at the top nothing else and whenever we scroll down then we'll see every other thing that we need and i think it wasn't present before and now it has been added we can see here at the bottom all the queries that has been executed whenever we visited this page and whenever i click on this down icon then i can see the formatted version of this query and similarly we can also just click on this gear icon and set up the editor so i have set up this vs code over here and we can see here it is showing me the error is over here and let me just make my cursor over here and whenever i click on this edit icon then it will say me to open the visual studio code and it will take me directly to that line where the error has occurred and this is a very huge feature and hats off to spassy for this now let us look at the new thing that has been added another thing and it's a route list you can see here the route list it's so beautiful now let me show you the psp artisan route list and you can see here it is much more better than our previous route list which was shown in a table before and we can easily see our these parameters in the different color either get or post in a different color similarly we can see this controller actions at the end it is very easy to scan this route list and hats off to nuno marudo for this who is the core member of the laravel team and the next thing that has been added is this test coverage whenever we run psp artisan test we can also now pass this coverage and for this to work you need to configure this xdebug or pcob since i haven't configured this or installed this so i'll not be able to show you but you can try this and similarly this socketi eco server has been added and it is this open source alternative to pusher and if you don't want to use pusher then you can easily configure this socketi to your own server and use it as a web socket server if you just go here in the socketi documentation then you can easily see it and let me know in the comment section below if you want to see a video tutorial about this as well similarly the next thing that has been added is this improved collection id support we can easily get auto completion inside the loop also let me show you that let me go here in the dashboard controller over here like this and here i have just created this private method users and i am returning this all the users that you can see here okay like this and here i have returned over here like this collection integer and user this integer is 0 1 2 the key and the value is user over here and whenever i do for each loop over here this users now i can easily get auto completion over here like if user is admin 
I can see all the auto completion from the user model over here as well if I do it like this but now if you just see here inside this collection everything is now returning like this it is just like generic generic is by default not supported in the php so we can just make use of it by using this comments and in every one of these methods it is now returning like this so whenever we are looping through a data in a collection then we will get auto completion of whatever object that we have inside the collection and this is very very useful now let's see the new thing that has been added the new thing that has been added is this new str helper method and let me show you that as well let me comment it out and this is just a helper method before we can do it like this str of lara tips and we could do it append like this and every other thing it will just work the same way now instead of that str of we can just write it here inside the str helper method and if i just run it then i can see here lara tips youtube but instead of passing anything inside this str method if we don't pass anything then it will just return the plain string and let me just show you that previous one if i didn't do here two string then it will just return this stringable so if we want to chain multiple things then write some value inside this str and chain multiple methods over here but if you don't want to chain multiple methods and just don't write anything inside here and finally the last thing that has been added is this two route before we had to do return redirect arrow route and we had to do it like this but now this two route has been added and it's just a basic addition which enables you to write one method instead of two methods so guys these are all the things that is added to the new laravel version 9 what do you think about it let me know in the comment section below so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye